A nurse is caring for a client with chronic occlusive arterial disease. What precipitating cause is the nurse most likely to identify for the development of ulceration and gangrenous lesions? Number one, emotional stress, which is short lived. Number two, poor hygiene and limited protein intake. Number three, stimulants such as coffee, tea, or cola drinks. Number four, trauma from mechanical chemical or thermal sources so again a nurse is caring for a client with chronic occlusive arterial disease what precipitating cause is the nurse most likely to identify for the development of ulceration and gangrenous lesions the right answer is trauma from mechanical chemical or thermal sources this is most likely to identify for the development of ulceration and gangrenous lesions. If you answer emotional stress, which is short-lived, this is not right because emotional stress does not cause tissue injury. However, because of vasoconstriction, it may prolong healing. And if you answer number two, which is poor hygiene and limited protein intake, this is not correct because inadequate hygiene it's only one stress that may cause tissue trauma. Protein is not related to this disease. And number three is not right. If you answer coffee as the main source or most likely to identify for the development of ulceration and gangrenous lesion, stimulants such as coffee, tea, or cola drinks, these are not the this is not the right answer. Because although caffeine stimulates the peripheral, uh, peripheral vessels to constrict, limiting oxygen to cells, it is not the major cause of ulceration.